So the game I'm playing today is called Bonanza Brothers for the Sega Genesis. This was not originally a Genesis title, it was an arcade game released in 1990 that was later ported to the Genesis in 1991 and various other platforms, but I'll explain all of that later. So Bonanza Brothers is a stealth action game where you take control of, well, the titular Bonanza Brothers, Robo and Mobo, or Mike and Spike as they are known in some countries, and the plot of this game differs depending on which version of the game you're playing. The original plot from the Japanese release is that they are a band of thieves infiltrating various businesses and stealing various items from them, whereas in the North American and European versions, the North American version is the one I'm playing, you are still a group of thieves, but you've been hired by the police force of the city of Badville in order to rid the city of crime once and for all. And the businesses that you are infiltrating are also being run by criminals, whereas before they were just being run by normal individuals. So I, I'm not really sure why the plot was changed, nor do I understand why their names had to be changed, but it's uh, another game that I discovered on a uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection. Well, I actually discovered this game via Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. If any of you have ever played that game before, you might be aware that Robo and Mobo are actually playable characters in that game. Uh, most of you have probably never heard of the Bonanza Brothers before, because from what I can remember, the game was not that popular. Um, well, I mean, it, it was popular enough to receive uh, a spin-off series in Japan called uh, Puzzle in Action, which had, like, literally nothing to do with Bonanza Brothers, uh, aside from the fact that the Bonanza Brothers were the protagonists of those games. But, from what I can remember, this game was not that successful in other countries like North America and Europe, but they were uh, featured in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, that spin-off game, and they also made a cameo appearance in the sequel to that, so you might recognize these guys from there. Uh, if you've always been uh, curious as to their origins, well, you're about to see the game in which they originate, so how's about we just go and play this right away? Yeah, so let's just go and unpause this, let's go, go press the start button, and I'm already screwing up my English here, we're just gonna go to uh, one player, there is an options menu right here. Uh, where you can change the amount of lives you start with, and also the difficulty level. I'm just gonna keep everything to normal for now. Uh, as with a lot of games from this time period, uh, it's not easy, but I'm not surprised considering this was originally an arcade title as well. Uh, you do start off with various credits, so if you do end up losing all your lives, you can just use more credits in order to resume. The only penalty you receive is that your score gets reset. So, essentially you have like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, 15 lives if you're just playing the game normally. So, what we can do here is that we are playing as Robo normally, and this is also a two-player game as well, so this is, this is kind of like a co-op game. So what we have to do is that we have to steal various pieces of treasure here. Now, uh, these guards you can take out with, uh, what I assume is like, is like a pellet gun. You can't kill them outright, you can only stun them. Uh, you can also slam their face into doors, which I just didn't do successfully at all. Uh, so we're just gonna move on and pretend that never happened. Um, you also get three minutes as well, so the time limit is, uh, pretty harsh. You have these guys with, uh, riot shields as well, which you can only take out, uh, when they're facing the other way. Again, all this does is stun them, so you just have to go and do that. Yeah, you have to make sure not to, uh, get caught as well. If they see you, they will call for backup, like these guys are, are doing right now. So these guys are just going to try and take cover, and then when you get out of cover, they will also get out too. Yeah, when they're when they're regaining consciousness, you can just shoot them again in order to keep them down. And that's pretty much how that works. You can just take this guy out right here. You can also press yourself up against doors too. I'm just gonna go and uh, kill this guy here. Uh, could could this door close, please, so that the other guy can't see me? Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Well, actually, I'm. They don't see me anymore anyway. Uh, I better take this guy out quickly before he calls for anyone. There we go. Very nice. So now we have all the treasure. Job completed. Hurry to the exit. We don't even need to worry about uh, about the other guys. Uh, I'm just gonna take these out very quickly. These guards. There you go. Uh, when you get shot, you die instantly in this game, so basically everything can kill you in just, uh, one hit. Yeah, so slamming these guys up against doors, which also stuns them temporarily. I don't know if that stuns them, uh, for, uh, 
a longer amount of time than just simply shooting them. I'm not quite sure how it works, but there we go, that's that's the set, that's the first stage. There's only six stages in this game, by the way, so this this is not very long at all. But like I said, it's it's not easy. Just wait for this guy to uh, to walk forward and oh my god, I pressed myself up against the door again. Jump over that can because you will trip on it if you don't. Uh, okay, hang on a second. This guy is is losing his mind now. Uh, I don't know if the other guy over there saw me, but I need to get out here. Uh, do these guys? Okay, no, these guys don't actually uh, hurt me. But I do think they still alert the guards either way. Oh my god, dude, I'm doing a horrible job at trying to slam these guys here. Yeah, this rake I just need to jump over as well. Just open that door. Oh jeez. Yeah, so you you can take cover. Although taking cover is basically pointless if they if they see you because they can they they still know where you are anyway. Uh yeah, let's just go and take that. Take advantage of my invincibility frames. Excuse me. Could you could you like go go away please? Um yeah, there's also this big guy here. He just threw a bomb right in his face. I <laughs> Good AI. Impressive AI. Yeah, but these these are like uh, the big boys here, like the like the bodyguards. Uh, they're very, they're actually quite easy to take out. You just need to fire a few rounds into them, and then they just they just keel over. So not too hard. There we go. Hit that guy while he's facing the other way. Very good. I'm gonna try and slam these guys here. There we go. Just so that they they don't alert the guards. Even though this guy's gonna get alerted. Hang on a second. There we go. Just take him down. Nah, uh, I can also take this guy out as well, even though he's sleeping. Uh, I'm gonna wait for... Yeah, here we go. This guy should be should be going over here. Take these guys out so that they don't see me. Yeah, so you can, you can take cover behind various objects as well. Some of them can open doors, but I think only if they spot you, that's when they can do that. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta take this guy out quickly. Very nice. And I can't, I can't hesitate either, because I only have a limited amount of time to do this. There we go. Very good, indeed. I know I am kind of making the game seem seem easy right now, but trust me, guys, this game does get does get like insane uh, pretty quickly. Starts off easy at first, but then it just goes into like full on blow your face off mode within an instant. Oh jeez. Okay, get all these guys out of the way here. Speed run. Gotta do that speed run. Uh, this guy does not even notice me here. Is he gonna come out? Yeah. Here we go. There we go. Very nice. Then you get the last bit of treasure, then you can just ride on the zip line right here. Crash through this wall. I said the word through very awkwardly. Yeah, this guy's still gonna th try and throw a bomb even though I'm on the other side. He can't break those, uh, those crates. And that's just it. We're off to the casino now. So yeah, it does show you which items you are, uh, supposed to collect. If you don't pay attention to the screen, that's fine, because the, the items that you're supposed to collect will, uh will just flash on screen anyway, or flash in the level. Not only that, but the mini-map shows you where all the treasures are as well. Uh, okay, I, I think this guy's, like, not even gonna- oh, see me- okay. Well, I mean, the other guy saw me. Cause he- he- he knew where I- where I was trying to go. Uh, where should I go first? I mean, it doesn't really matter- okay, excuse me, could you just, like, rest, rest in pepperonis, please? Uh, I'm not sure if I can actually, like, like, duck or anything. Okay, hang on a second. No, no, no. You you stay out of here. Is, is he gonna turn around? I actually don't know how you're supposed to, supposed to duck here. Okay, fine. Jump over him! There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, here. I just need to, I just need to, like, run. These guys are very slow anyway. I do think I actually outpaced them. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I think there's only, like, one guy that I can, that I can take down right here because the other guy's not gonna... Well, there's gonna be at least, like, one guard facing facing the opposite direction at all times, so just take this one out. If I do go off-screen, he won't notice me. I, I don't believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna ignore these guys, because there's not even any any treasure on the, the bottom floor anyway. This is, like, the last one. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, I mean, he blocked that, like, like so quickly. I wasn't expecting it. Okay, whatever. It, it's not like this is going to matter, because I can just use my credits here. It doesn't matter. We can just keep on going, because I have invincibility. Wow. There we go. I've been resurrected from the grave. There we go. Just take all you guys out. Take all you bozos out. Very good indeed. And then a, there's a last treasure on the, the top right here. I'm not even sure how you'd be able to avoid this guy. He's just looking at you all the time. Yeah, there we go. You got these springs right here. Um, I don't know if these guys are going to turn around. Could you turn around, please? Actually, better, better idea. 
yeah, jump over you and then and then and then shoot you. Get this briefcase. Here, just get this guy out of here. And then the exit is on the other side. Uh whoa, hang on a second. Hang on a moment. Actually, can I still like Oh yeah, I can still I can still uh shoot up here. Um I'm just gonna make uh, make my way through here. Very good. Yeah, so they're 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 so slow that they can't even catch up with you anyway. So I guess that's 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 the good part. Then you just have a little cutscene here. Or just avoiding the bouncer. Then you go to the mint. So we have all this, uh, I, I think that's that's money. I, I can't really tell what any of this is. Um, you can go this way, but... Well, I mean, there is a staircase, but you can just go the other way around. Like, you can go to the, the very top of the building. And then go the other way. Uh, is this guy gonna turn around? Okay, yeah, here we go. This is my chance to attack. There we go. Get him out of the picture. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on a second. Nope! I, I need those jukes, boys. There we go. There's the jukes. Very nice. Yeah, this guy's already already has his back turned, so please. Oh my god. Uh! Okay. <laughs> Apparently he can he can hit me in midair. Well, there we go. That's that that is what happens. That's what in the magic of invincibility frames right there. Very good. Uh just wait for this guy. Turn around, please. Actually, could I just no, let have a better idea. Let's just go the other way for now. There we go. Just hit okay, no, 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 no. You see? Like, if I'm- if I'm on- above him, he takes, like, so long. Okay, and apparently when I'm opening a door, it takes so goddamn long as well. Jeez. Okay, get wow. you out of- out of here. Yeah, because when they- when they notice you, it's like they- they, they just stop momentarily. Uh, do I- Yeah, I think I want to go downstairs, actually, because there is a treasure. Treasure right down over here. This guy has his back turned already. I don't need to deal with the other guy. Okay, can you, like, jump, please? Holy crap. Yeah, th let's not worry about the other guy right now. Just get him out of the way. There's like two other treasures on the very top floor that I need to that I need to retrieve. Okay. Is this guy going to turn around? Please turn around. Stop wasting my time. I can go and get this. Very nice. This guy's just gonna come out, but I'm just gonna take him down. There we go. Just keep on stunning him. Yeah, then you have the dog right over here. Um you can take out the dog, although I do feel really bad for doing so, but you know, I've got a job. I got a duty to fulfill. Oh, jeez. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, you are... You are just shooting at a wall. Like I said, very good AI. Okay, wait, just... I know I have... I don't know I don't have enough treasure. Okay, here. Get out of here, for goodness sakes. There. And now I don't need to worry about, about all the other crap. So just get to the rooftop, and we're gonna get out of here. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> Mobo just comes with his blimp, and then he comes pick comes to pick me up. Underground gold bars. Next targets are stick of dynamite and a bomb. Gotta go and retrieve some explosives. Yeah, then you have this minecart sequence, which I don't think you can even control. Yeah, because they lead to, like, absolutely nowhere. There we go. Although the guards do get alerted immediately, because they, they can hear you. So just, just try and get the heck out of there as fast as possible. And there is a dog up here. Now, I think... Yeah, the dog can jump up here. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can keep him stunned. Oh, jeez, he's on the top. He's on the top floor. Top shelf. There we go. We got him out. And then this guy's gonna come out here. Okay, I probably should have went back into the cover. Because I know I know how the light blue guys work. Okay, hang on a second. God, th I, I hate this screen so much because it takes so so long to, to just show the freaking continue page. Here we go, or the continue screen. You get out of here, please. Okay, we're just gonna keep on going. Yeah, there's another dog. Just take him out. Get him out of here. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? You're at, you're at the, the top of the floor. Can you just stop? Just stop, please. There we go. We got some dynamite right here. Oh my god. Why? I'm just gonna pick it up, please. Take you out. Take him out. Okay, I'm walking off the screen. There was another green guy who noticed me, but I'm just- I'm just moving away. I'm just moving away from that. Okay, get on the same plane. Thank you. Uh, oh wait. No, I need to- I need- I had to take the other stairs in order to get- in order to get to that. What am I doing? Okay, hang on a second. I- I- I made a goof, guys. I done goofed. Okay, I- <laughs> God. Now I'm not even paying attention, because I'm getting impatient now. That's what's happening. Because I know, I know I done screwed up, and now I'm trying to pay for, I'm gonna pay for my mistakes here. Okay, here. Get up, get up. Up this way, there we go. Very nice. And just jump and shoot. Yeah, I forgot, I can jump and shoot, actually. Okay. Let's just go, 
and retrieve the bomb. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm gonna just ignore the guy with the riot shield for now. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Just get out of here, please. Uh, get him out. Take him out. There we go. Oh, jeez. Not the other guy. Okay, there. Still got him anyway. Okay, now I need to go back the other way. Wow, okay, I didn't even notice that guy got back up. Wow. Just got freaking reamed. <laughs> That, like, happened so quickly, I, I wasn't even expecting it. Okay, yeah, you get- you go. You go. Oh my god. No. There we go. Good juking, not even trying. Okay. Excuse me. Could you go back the other way, please? Turn around. Okay, he's not gonna turn around, is he? Are you going to, or are you just gonna keep- Okay, here we go. Get him out of here. What about the other guy? Okay, well, the other guy was- was- like, knew I was here. Okay, hang on a second. Wow. <laughs> you know, for being- for being, like, guards with riot shields and all that body armor, you sure suck at running. Actually, they don't e they don't even run towards you, they just, like, walk. Yeah, as if- as if it's not a- it's not a major threat. No, no issue. I mean, even- even with just walking, I outpaced them, so... It's- it- this just sad- sad excuses for guards right here. Okay, this car. Can I even do anything with this car? I don't believe I can- Wait, how did he see me? Excuse me? How did- how did you- Well, you're dead anyway, so get out of here. Give me that gold. Steal all your gold. I'm gonna sell this on the black market and become rich. Alright, just wait. Oh my god, there's like so much stuff right here. Yeah, so much- so much garbage. Okay, there was another guy over there? Okay, hang on a second. There, does no one see me? No one? Okay, how does- okay, I don't understand. How does the other guy noticing me from all the way over there? Okay, hang on a second. Please. Let- let me- let me go back. I ha I have a few get-out-of-jail-free cards still at my disposal. Well, I only have, like, one now, but- okay, whatever. Get- get out of here. Stop it. Okay. Good. Now I'm gonna go up this way. Is there- I'm not even sure if there's- is, is there anyone here? Yeah. Okay, I guess- I guess the blue- the blue guard just, like, notices me regardless. Okay, hang on a second. I think I'm gonna need to get- get away from this guy just so we can... Re-, re reset his- his line of sight. Yeah, there's, like, barely anyone in here. Okay, hang on. There we go. Didn't even see that one coming. He just, like, stared at the bullet and it, and he let it hit him. Oh, goodness. Okay, how- I was hiding behind that. How did you even- Okay, whatever. Just go. Take advantage of my invincibility frames. Slam- squash this guy again against the wall. Wait, I missed something in here. Okay, actually, hang on a second. Hang on a moment. Hi. Wait, what am I- Okay, I thought- I thought for sure I could- I could, like, <laughs> still- still hit him like that. Oh my god. Okay, this is- this is what happens when you get- when you get impatient, guys. Okay. See, and the problem- it, I'm playing the Steam version of this game, by the way, and the only thing that I don't like about the, uh, the emulator for, uh, the Sega Genesis Classics in particular is that there's no way to fast-forward the emulation. Like, there's just- there's just no way at all, but I prefer to use this because the thing about the Fusion emulator is that for some reason, that emulator tends to use a lot of, uh, it, it tends to use a lot of, uh, CPU for some reason. So, I just prefer this one, because it's less CPU intensive. Okay, I gotta wait for, like... Here, just get the this other guy out of here, and then just do that to you. There we go. His, his stomach just absorbs some of the bullets. Here, just go and slam this guy against the wall. This guy's not even paying attention. Wow, he really doesn't see me. Okay, well, he does now. I probably should have, like, jumped there. Okay, hang on a second. There we go. Get- get your- get you out of here. Okay. Job completed. Hurry to the exit! Hurry to the exit! So we can get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, wait. This guy has his back turned anyway. Okay. Wait for the guy to get out in front. There we go. And this other guy has his back turned anyway, so just get him out of here. Okay. Just shot him in the back. And he dies. Okay. Now, I do believe that is the end, right? Is that the end of the game, or is there more to this? I don't even remember. Oh, no, there is more. Oh. 
Okay, I thought... Well, for, I don't know, for some reason I remember there only being like, like six stages. Maybe I'm thinking about the arcade version. I have no idea. This guy's not even close enough to the door to be able to, to, to squish him. Oh, they're producing some robots in here, are they? I see. Alright, well, let's just... Okay, this guy is just gonna go go in and out. Um, in and, in and out of, of hiding. Hang on a moment. I haven't played the game up until this point, just so you guys know. Okay, there was another guy over here. I'll just... I guess I can't jump over these guys. Holy, holy crap. Okay, fine then. Fine then. Okay, well, that guy was distracted. Hi, how are you doing? I'm just gonna pull out the jukes. Pull out the jukes! Wow, okay. And then he just, like, lost track of me. <laughs> Even though it was, like, directly behind him. Um, okay, two guys over here. There's one guy that's gonna, gonna come out of hiding. Okay, yeah, you go back in there. Take him out. I'm not planning on doing a full playthrough of this, by the way, guys. I just want to see how, how far I can get. Okay, that's too, that's not close enough. Fine, just get through here. Close the door. That way he doesn't know I'm here. Very good. Oh, no one? No one? At all? Okay, good. Except for some guys up this way. Eh, this might be where I where I where I end up losing my life, but hang on a second. So I'll be in prison. Uh open. Thank you very much. Get that. No, this guy has his back turned. I can still take him out anyway. There we go. Take that out. Uh open the door. Okay, just wait. Just take him out. Very good. Is that the only other guy there? Yeah, I think it is. I'll just go back up this way. Oh my god, there are three of them? Oh my god, and they're all- they're all moving around? Okay. Who- who- who do I take out first? I think I take this guy out. And then with this guy. Yeah, bo take all of them. Take all of them. Good. Here, let me just go and- and get that. Yeah, job completed. Hurry to the exit. Oh boy. I'm not anywhere. I'm absolutely nowhere. Okay. I think it's time for jukes. Wow, okay. Well, I- I- <laughs> I avoided the other guy's baton for a moment, but... Yeah, I guess these bullets are, are a little bit are a little bit hard to uh to, to to try and jump over. Yeah, and then when you when you run out of credits, you just you just go all the way back to the beginning. Cause that's 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 how um that's how jerkish uh developers were back then. <laughs> or these or these companies, you know. You you just you just lose Yeah, you, you don't don't bother starting starting at the level you uh you, you lost on. Just just go all the way back to the start. You know, because this was before saving was invented, or at least was common in video games, because Sega didn't learn anything from Nintendo at that time, but... Um, I think I'm gonna leave this video here either way, guys, because that's really all I have to say about Bonanza Brothers. I'm still I'm still content with where I was uh, able to get in the game anyway. Made it all the way up to stage 7. I mean, I had to use, like, <laughs> 4 continues, 4 or 5, but... Still, I'm I'm at least content with that. I feel like I was able to show off uh, most of the the game's mechanics anyway. I wasn't trying to go for a for a full playthrough, so I'm still happy about about my performance, even though my performance was absolute garbage trash, like it like it normally is in in all of my videos. But yeah, that's that's Bonanza Brothers. Just a really cool stealth action game, a timeless classic. Even though I think barely anyone even remembers this game at all because I, I don't think it was even the the most popular game of its time but still still pretty fun either way it does get really tricky uh, at the uh, like like in the uh, later stages but you know just just gotta be stealthy just gotta be stealthy just hide behind uh, different objects and take cover and they they won't notice you I mean sometimes they will notice you but you can just walk right past them anyway because they're they're just that dumb sometimes you know you can just you can just easily juke them by jumping on to, on top of a desk and then jumping back down and they walk so slowly anyway like uh it, like you you literally walk faster than them in this game and and it's not like they rush towards you either. So, it's just lamest, lamest excuses for guards in the entire world. Anyway, if you guys want to purchase this game, because it is still possible to purchase it, it was released on Steam, 
in uh, 2010, I believe. Uh, it's not like the release date really matters, but it is available on Steam, so if you want to purchase it there, the link's in the description. It's only $3, I believe. Uh, the game was also released on the Wii Virtual Console, so if you have a Wii U and you want to, uh, you know, start up Wii mode and access the uh, Wii Virtual Console in order to download this game, then, well, you can do that. Uh, at least until the Wii Shopping Channel shuts down, so try to do it before then. I'm not sure why you would want to play it on uh, your, your Wii or your Wii U. Maybe just get it on PC instead, or if you're a purist, just go find an uh, original cartridge of this somewhere. I don't know, it's some sort of flea market, but I'm, I'm not a purist. I'd rather I'd, I'd rather take, take the easy way out, as in just purchase all my retro games digitally, just to piss you people off. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that's it, guys. Bonanza Brothers, just another really fun Sega Genesis classic. If you guys are getting tired of uh, these Genesis videos, then... Uh, I, I understand, but there's just... There, there's a lot of um, games that I first played on Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection that I would really like to show off to you guys, because a lot of them are really fun, and I'd like to, you know, show, show you guys uh, something that you have you may have never seen before, or something that you're not familiar with, or... Uh, let me let me rephrase that. Show you some of Sega's more obscure and unknown IPs. You know, some of the lesser known IPs that made Sega such a great company in the first place, at least back in in this time. You know, show you some some good old Sega games you may not have heard of. That's that's the whole intent of these videos, anyway. And to to be fair, that's been like the entire intent of my channel uh, ever since I started it, like six years ago. Just so you show you some cool indie games or even retro games that you may have never heard of before. That's that's pretty much the, the whole premise, and if you don't like the fact, then I'd really have to question why you're even here. So, that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!